Hello, everybody. Yeah, welcome to another one of IPEX uh, webinars. This webinar is looking about um, online PD uh, case studies and, and the application of online PD in different networks around the world. Next example is Korea. And actually, I'm taking Korea as a whole. So the whole of uh, South Korea, we have quite a variety of, of installations in South Korea. Um, half of the focus is on private networks, um, industrial plants such as LG Chemical, Hyundai, uh, Caltex, you know, all these key processing plants and manufacturing plants. And then the other side is obviously the state-owned networks, KEPCO, KHMP. Uh, but both of those have the very common um, fact that a very high cost of failure. So if we're looking at the EHV level, the EHV side of the network, failure is a very high cost. If we're looking at the industrial side, failure is a very high cost. Sensitive manufacturing plants and, of course, sensitive power generation. So across Korea, we have over 50 monitoring systems installed in different networks, ranging from 10 kV up to 3, 4, 5 kV. And we're looking at switch gear and cables. And although, particularly with the industrial and the, the, the processing plants, much of the switch gear and cables are quite new. So when you're looking at the high technology uh, manufacturing facilities that we monitor, a lot of the assets are quite new, but the cost of a single failure, the cost of a downtime is very high. And therefore, we still should monitor these types of assets. And the same, same applies for the EHV level, the power generation level. A lot of these assets are quite new, relatively speaking, um, but they still should be monitored because a failure of a single one of these assets is very, very costly and, and would cost many, many orders of magnitude more than it costs to implement a monitoring technology. The challenges, again, standalone systems. Um, instead of a large network with one central server, we're talking standalone per substation or per company. A lot of the critical manufacturing, the critical refinery processes, and of course, the uh, EHV level, data security is a very number one priority, of course. And so no outside connection is allowed. These systems work autonomously. They work in the site. Language barriers. Language barriers is, is a problem, of course. So although IPEC uh, generally operate in English and although a lot of engineering around the world, a lot of electrical engineering, particularly say places like the Middle East, a lot of engineering is done in English. In certain territories, China, Korea, Japan, the language barrier tends to be a problem. The customers conduct engineering in their local language. And so the way we address with that is, firstly, we, we make sure that we have a local partner, a local distributor in all of these territories. And that, that local distributor, we train up to make sure they're PD experts, just like IPEC. So if we don't have a, an office there, we have a local distributor. So they speak the local language, of course, they're culturally, and uh, they understand the way the business is, is conducted, and they speak the local language with the customer. So we make sure they're trained up, we make sure they're local. The other side to it as well is our interfaces for our permanent monitoring systems. We have different language versions as well. So it means that we have a Korean version of our monitoring system, for example, so that in the case of South Korea, they can be trained in Korean by our distributors and indeed trained by um, IPEC themselves when we fly out and we have our local uh, translators do so. Trained by our Korean distributors. Our Korean distributors are first line support and also the way the customer interprets the data on our website, we have the local language for that as well. So very secure sites with uh, power sensitivity, of course, that comes back to that standalone. And offline installation needed during shutdown. I mean, this is the case for a lot of the modern switch gear, where sensors may need to be installed inside cable terminations. Often shutdown needs to be scheduled. And so actually with processing plants, what we tend to do is time it with, uh, with production facilities, sorry, we tend to time the installation with the planned shutdown of assets for maintenance. They tend to have quite robust maintenance techniques and maintenance uh, schedule anyway. So we plan the installation with maintenance and we make sure that our systems are very quick to install. And indeed, we only need to install the sensors uh, during a shutdown. The rewards, of course, critical supplies um, are being monitored. We've got many, many in South Korea, we've got many, many good case studies of, of PD detected and PD repaired. The nice thing about the critical power supply means that as soon as any PD is detected, the customers are generally very keen to very quickly find the problem and repair the problem. And so it means we have a higher proportion, if you like, of very good case studies. And then the other benefit, the other reward customers have experienced is because like a lot of uh, countries in South Korea, you have a lot of very large group companies. So 
maybe one company is, is running chemical processing plants as well as high technology production facilities. And so it means that there's a lot of crosstalk and a lot of companies within the group um, talk about the technology. So we've managed to install permanent monitoring systems in, in one industry and then quickly install that in another industry because it's owned by the same holding company, the same group. So we get that transfer of knowledge across the, across the groups. Saudi Arabia, we began 2013 onwards working in Saudi Arabia. At first, a lot of the application were, was uh, spot testing, handheld portable instrumentation. More recently, permanent monitoring technology, monitoring 13.8 kV, 69 kV, primarily focused on the switch gear. The customer's main concern has been switch gear. However, because if you're already installing a monitoring system to cover the switch gear, it's not too much to add on the ability to also monitor the cables. So although the customer's priority is switch gear in this case, uh, cables have also been monitored. So at the moment we have over 24 substations with our ASM monitoring systems, you see it here. The sensor cables in this case are dropping down below, so it looks nice and neat and tidy. Uh, sites across uh, Demam, Kasim, Riyadh, so key sites in the kingdom. We've got lots of case studies from uh, PD investigations and PD locations. Using HFCT, CCTEV and ultrasonic sensors. A lot of the problems found in countries in the Middle East tends to be surface tracking activity, PD inside cable terminations. So that's where the ultrasonic sensors are very useful. Uh, data hosted in Manchester, but is being transferred to, to the company's head office. Large number of handheld instruments, which complement the permanent monitoring technology. So the permanent monitors, the first phase of the permanent monitoring systems have been installed in key assets in the urban areas and the city centre areas, if you like. But then there's a large number of handheld instruments which are complementing that technology and the handheld technology is used um, out and about um, in other assets. So across Saudi Arabia, Dammam, Riyadh, Qasim, uh, looking more closely. So across the city, across the key assets in Riyadh, the key assets in Dammam, both the industrial zones as well as the, the city centre and other assets in Saudi Arabia. Challenges then, the first challenge environmental so naturally there's the the challenge of the environmental aspects very hot very humid environments not always does each substation have efficient air conditioning so you need to make sure your systems are robust they can handle those harsh environments installation location of sensors some sensors can be installed on the outside but other sensors need to be installed in the cable termination so similar to the last example we need to make sure we have a planned shutdown for cable uh, for sensor installation Communication and infrastructure for future SEC-based server. So unlike the Hong Kong example, where they have fiber optic linking every single substation on the island, um, in Saudi Arabia, due to the vast distances, they don't have that fiber optic and communication network. And so planning of the communication infrastructure and how we can make that into a private network um, is, is another challenge. Um, again, due to the vast um, spread out of engineers, training uh, an efficient training program is essential so again if i use the hong kong example quite centralized quite a small island relatively speaking and so one condition monitoring team will cover the whole space from one office in saudi arabia it's a very large country and so you have localized condition-based maintenance uh, teams and so you need to make sure you can do an efficient training program by moving to these different areas and also keeping in good contact with them after the training it's okay given a one day training, but engineers change, engineers move. So it's keeping that attention to the monitoring systems ongoing. So a very advanced training program is required and it helps that we have IPEC representative based in Saudi Arabia so that we can have that face to face time. And again, speaking in the local language um, helps a lot. The reward for the customer, new condition based maintenance offering, a remote assessment. So adding to their existing condition based maintenance tools that they already have, that they already employ, uh, they've got this new offering as well. Autonomous alerts and alarms coming from the system. So again, they get alerted to where the problems may be. Reduced local PD testing required. So instrumentation was previously the main way that they did PD testing. They still do it in many sites, but by installing monitoring system, you reduce the need for that, that time. Uh, they reduce the need for contractors to do testing. And tailored solution. So it was a very tailored solution for for uh, in Saudi Arabia to make sure we, we made a, a system that fit their requirement.